out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I think whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody, but I'm bowed. Beyond this place of wrath of tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Henley. That poem, Invictus, reminds me of Tyler. Ride or die, do or die, never give up pioneer attitude, and that's exactly what he is. Um, he's Oregon history. Paralyzed from the waist down, and he's a fishing boat captain. It inspired me to ask him if I'd come along and train as a deckhand, and he said yes. I have these two great mentors, Chad and Andrew. And this is that journey. Follow along. I have a lot to learn. Guys, if everybody's here, we'll uh, kind of huddle up on the back deck here, make a horseshoe around the back rail. We'll do an orientation before we get underway. So come on outside here real quick. So you guys can hear Chad when he starts. Yep, in his mouth. Oh, that's good. Nice. Uh, you're doing here. Come on outside here, guys. Good morning. My name is Captain Tyler, owner operator of the Surf Rider Year Board. We're on deck, Shannon and Andrew. Great grandson, as well, to help out with their. Four twenty in the morning on my day off, and I'm giddy as a schoolgirl. Right here, I'm thinking about all the things that I don't want to go wrong today, but inevitably will, because I don't have experience. This is my first morning as a deckhand. Coffee, food, back to review. Anxious. New guy. I've been there before. In two hours, I'll be here. Putting things in the wrong place. Getting in the way of the deck boss, Chad. Asking Andrew how to tie a knot for the 50th time. They're both very patient. Making a mess. And asking stupid questions. What's all this? It comes off a bit self-effacing, but it's honest writing, and I know I'm going to make all these mistakes, so might as well get my pants on and get after it. This video took six weeks to make. What I want to showcase is what it takes to be a deckhand and what Dockside Charters does for its clients. So please like, subscribe, it helps out the channel, and let me know in the comment section if you're interested in seeing any more of these. This is just six weeks piled together to make a video just kind of a quick synopsis of what we do so with that said this is what i do in the morning so this guy here is 420 and there's nobody here but in one hour this parking lot will be packed over here's the boat ra uh, boat ramp the public boat launch and that is going to have a line probably shoot all the way up the hill back there. And here's the one and only surf rider. Last week it was on the Tackle Buster, which was over there. Right over there. And that's run by uh, Captain JT, which is Tyler's dad. Guy. My bibs. And my jacket just in case. <clears throat> Let's see if we got 
Steve. Just shine a light on that later. I don't have any. Uh, I don't know how many crabbers we have, but through the pots, we'll later throw them on over here. First thing we do is throw out the mat. Chad just pulled up. He's the deck boss. Try to do everything I can to impress him, but hard to do. And I'll get the rest of my shit and we'll start pinning uh, bait. Crab bait. I love this smell. This is what was caught yesterday, well, a small fraction of it. The clients will take their fish up to the fish cleaning station, have their fish filleted, and then we'll use the carcasses the next day for crabbing. All these fish look a little different in the dark. Well, kind of different. That is a cabazon. I know that cabazon don't have any teeth, but if you make the mistake of sticking your finger into a lean, lean cod's, mouth you're gonna remember that one the black rock fish don't have any teeth you can just stick your hand in there but every once in a while you'll get a wing on these baiting pots so you gotta keep an eye out for that yeah. how you oh, doing I forgot your year too it's Saturday huh? yeah that's Kyler he's a deckhand on the boat he's also a commercial crab fisherman he's helped me out a ton on this boat um, I'm gonna pin the rest of this fish and get to something else Here we are getting all the, the poles out and we're going to put these little rubber gold baits or whatever we're going to use. And I particularly enjoy this time in the morning. This is where all the deck hands kind of hang out and we just kind of shoot the breeze about stuff. And I'm constantly absorbing information here. I feel like an absolute outsider because I am. I'm running this camera. They don't know who I am, but I'm putting my time in and um, slowly there's a bond that uh, inevitably is made. And I enjoy that because uh, being welcomed into this fold means the world to me. Right here, Kyle and I just talk about life and whatnot and um, get uh, the polls ready. It's a hard job. I was like, I commercial crab and I uh, charter fish. He's like, oh, so you're, you're, you're used to the hard work. You yeah. were like, no, 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 let me tell you what's hard. I'm a deck hand on the boat and I'm a commercial fisherman. Did anybody have a cigarette lighter? Are we going to light boats on her? No. This is Chad, deck boss. Also one of the funniest people I've ever met in my entire life. Great mentor. To my right is Andrew. He's also helped me out a ton. He's also a deckhand. Around 5.30, people start showing up, and it's time to get underway. We have this, uh, the crab pots stacked, poles ready to go. And, yeah, that's about it. Time to go. We've got 24 on board today, so we should be busy. Tyler comes on board, and we're about to get underway. Him and another captain talk about where they're going to go fish today um, and where they're going to go crab. Obviously, I'm going to leave that out. But, uh, yeah, then it's time to bring people on board and get to fishing. Here are a couple tips. 
Uh, don't bring giant coolers. Deck space is limited. Bring water. Don't buy white grundins. They will stain. And use the bathroom while you're on shore. That cooler is just fine. Every morning I take some time to talk to Tyler, not just because I like him, but he's a wealth of information. And right here I ask him a couple questions and he's frank about it. What makes a good deck hand? What makes a bad deck hand? Reliability is one. And then willingness to be open to take criticism, constructive criticism and just work well with others. And, you know, you have to work well with people and get along with people. And, you know, because you're grinding every day, like, you know, during the summertime, you're going to get really tired and you have to be able to manage that. I'm not working with people because a lot, you know, a lot of deck hands, or even captains too, get grumpy. You know, naturally you do, but somehow you have to have that, like, firewall, you know, yeah. or filter where you can't just, uh, you know, even if you're that grumpy. Early mornings, late evenings. Kyler explained to me that they were out, I think, 160 to 180 days last year. That's weekends, seven days straight. You got to know how to work. It's fatiguing. Tyler stands with the helps, uh, help of braces on his legs, which I don't know how he does it all day, every day. Point being is, you got to be tough to be a deckhand. I only do this on weekend mornings, Saturday mornings, and I'm beat. We get underway, first order of business is to bait pots. For some reason, I always have a hiccup on pots. Everything else, I'm pretty comfortable with on the boat. Thankfully, I have Chad, a uh, great guy, great mentor. Even though this is an embarrassing moment for me, I try to laugh it off. But hey, this is honest, and this is what I do. That is so embarrassing. I'm really grateful for Chad. Just thank you, Chad. Chad reminds me of a drill instructor. He'll let you slip up, he'll let you know about it, and then he'll take the time to teach you. This is tough. I'm thinking about filming the shot. I have an audience watching me. And I also have Chad, who I want to dearly impress someday. But uh, that day is not going to come today. Here I mess up on the rope or the line. Chad fixes me. Um, Kyler to the left does uh, commercial crabbing, and he's explaining to me how they do it. And boy. Uh, big difference. When you throw the whole coil in there, it tends to loosen up and straighten out and you won't have a potential for a knot. Thanks, Kyler. Right here, I nail it. Yeah. And now it's time for Bronzo. So here's a couple weeks ago. Uh, that's Andrew right next to me. He uh, is going to be a captain of his own boat here pretty soon. Um, I believe it's the Starship. Right now, most of the time, is just spent observing and trying to help out people uh, get fish on board. Right here, this kid's asking me a million questions, and uh, I think it's cool. It reminds me of when I was a kid. I was obsessed with the ocean and boats and fishing. And he's the same way, the next generation. How many are in these? Uh, ten. Ten each, so we know we got 20 right there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this was a couple weekends ago. I uh, lucked out with the weather. The link cod bite was just on fire. Uh, Chad's measuring that one. I don't think it's big enough. I got one in the net. And this is pretty much it. Uh, Retying. Uh, as little as I get broke off. 
uh, washing down the deck, hanging out with you guys, getting to know you guys, where you're from, and all that stuff. Uh, bonking fish, bleeding fish, keeping track of uh, the fish. And after this, once the boat gets limited out, we'll go try and pick up our crab pots. So if you buy into uh, crabbing, expect to pull your own pot. And those pots are heavy. Right here I am, um, I got nowhere to stand. I don't want to be in Chad's way anymore. So I'm sitting down, I'm trying to get this bait off the pin. And of course it's so uh, whatever. It's only my 20th day out there. But here Andrew is showing me how the real deckhands do it. When we're done crabbing, it's uh, time to head back into Depot Bay. We're gonna get all the uh, fish and the totes arranged for you guys remember your number and then we get the crab off the boat and you guys take them up well I take them up uh, to the crab cleaning station and that's the end of the voyage for you guys and then it's time for us to prep for the second trip out oh, so here we are we're moored back all the people disembarked uh, <laughs> thank you guys for the tip money uh, deckhands obviously appreciate that that's my little cut of the day and then that guy kept on calling me Russell Crowe, which is hilarious. So that's why I said Russell Crowe. <laughs> Moving on. And now it's time to spray down the boat. Uh, you get the deck, there's usually a bunch of blood that's caked on. You gotta get that before the sun uh, bakes it on, otherwise it's impossible to get off. Run some trash up, uh, vacuum out the cabin. Tyler has some admin stuff he's gotta do. And that is about it as far as I know, because I'm the greenhorn. I don't know all behind the scenes stuff. I'm just learning as I go. So with that. Oh boy. I just got done editing this video. Wife got home, kid just got home. Okay, I gotta make this fast. This journey is not over yet. I just have to end this little segment of it because I gotta get on to the next segment. Being a part of that boat means the world to me. Thank you, Tyler, and all the other guys, Chad, Andrew, Kyler, um, JT, Keith. You guys are mentors, and I appreciate your time and being cool with me filming and stuff. Uh, being a friend of the boat means, means, the, uh, means the world to me. It's really an honor. Um, so yeah, book a fishing trip with Dockside Charters. You can't go wrong with that. And I'm gonna upload this bad boy and get to the next video. We got Coho coming up. We got Tuna coming up. Got a lot of exciting things to film. Um, and I just can't wait to get out there this Saturday. I'm always thinking about that boat. All right, please like, subscribe. I'll see you soon. See you out there. Perhaps I should not have been a fisherman, he thought. But that was the thing that I was born for. Hemingway, Old Man of the Sea.